like the winner do. What it do, see me with the crew. I done get some food. I see you looking like your dude. Had to make a move, make a Hey family, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, join me on my mission to gain 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I appreciate that. Also, if you want to make a video topic request, or if you just want to let me know you rock with me, send a donation to the Cash App or one of these other places, you feel me? Much appreciated. And follow me on social media too, especially Instagram. What's up y'all? I'm back. Neil Almighty aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador with another video. I want to talk about the time where I was working as a bed bug exterminator, right? And me and my supervisor fell and stole $10,000. And uh, um, what do you wanna, what do you wanna call that? Not a briefcase, it was one of those, it was like a wooden like chest type of thing and it was locked. So let me explain to y'all how we got in the chest. Listen. All right, so look. So look. We all, we all get to the job. Every, everything is, uh, I guess you could say everything is cool. It's a regular day, but this is another one of those days where the clients are like, like being like real like jerky. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, They just seem like, they don't care to have us around and they basically just talking to us like like they above us. Like we not there to help them. You know what I'm saying? So how it goes like this is that me and my supervisor, we already was speaking. You know what I'm saying? Because see, I found out people were still at this job from my supervisor. And I had more than one supervisor. So if this ended up getting back, whatever's going to go. It's past the statute of limitations anyway, because this was about 10 years ago, right? But I got more than one supervisor in case anybody that knows me and was working at the job with me, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, me and my supervisor was already talking and being that he was the one who I found out about the stealing stuff, like the stealing aspect of the job was really like a secret society type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, No one ever willingly put another person on to stealing it's kind of like you would have to catch somebody stealing and then like like they'd either offer you something so you'd be an accomplice so you won't tell or they'll be like Yo, you know what I'm saying like so I had caught him stealing before like and at that at the time that I caught him we was at um some white people house and what I noticed about white people is they're really, really good at saving money. And this is something that black people need to learn. You know what I'm saying? White people have white people be forgetting about money. Like if you in their closet and you just put your hands in pockets, like you'll be fine. Twenties, fifties, hundreds, tens. You know what I'm saying? Um, diamond rings, but those you don't take. You never take diamond rings because people are always going to realize that a diamond ring is missing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you'll just find stuff. And I had caught him stealing like a big ass like jaw. The jaw was like this big, right? Like this big. Nothing but quarters, nickels, and dime. You know what I'm saying? So if you talk about a jaw that's like this big, nothing but quarters, nickels, and dimes, it's like realistically... Realistically, it could be about a hundred dollars in there, maybe more. You feel me? And and to shut me up, even though I wasn't gonna snitch anyway, cause I'm not a rat. But to shut me up, he gave me half the jaw. You feel me? He gave me half the jaw. I went across the street from where I lived to the check cashing spot, threw that thing in the change machine. You know what I'm saying? It came out to like forty dollars or something like that, right? I was like, nice, nice, nice. I'm definitely gonna shut up about it. But anyways. Fast forward, we at this job, and you know, the customer, the clients, they're they're just acting, they're just being like 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 dickheads, you know what I'm saying? Like, like first of all, the house was mad hot. Like we in there, we got hazmat suits on, over our uniforms. That's mad hot. We asking them to, to, to put the air on, they complaining about for whatever reason, whatever goofy ass reason, 
they can't turn the air on and all that, right? So, me and my supervisor already giving each other the look. Now, the thing is, is that when you're working for a bad bunk company, the most important things are always going to be in the master bedroom. So, what my supervisor did was, he sent one person to the living room to make sure everything was straight. He sent another four people, split them up, two each. Two went into the kids' bedroom, two went to the other kids' bedroom, right? And then me and him, we went into the master bedroom. So we in the master bedroom. At first, we do our job. Like, we bagging up the clothes. We we dropping the little poison tablets inside the bags when we got the clothes in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we spraying shit down and all that, right? Something happens. Something happens where the couple... Went somewhere. They said they were leaving for a few seconds. I don't know if they were going to the management office or they were making a run to to Trader Joe's or something like that. Well, they had to make a run. They said they'd be back within 15 minutes, right? So the moment that they left, my supervisor, because they told my supervisor that while he was out talking to them in the living room, he comes in the room and like, yo, pull up, pull up, pull up. We got to look through this closet. All the good shit is in the closet, yo. They going to be back in like 15, 20 minutes. We got to make this quick. The money is in here. I'm telling you. The money is in here. They got something in here. Now, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm like, all right, copy, copy. So, what's good with it? You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, be lookout. We got snitches. We got snitches on deck with us today. You know what I'm saying? Stand by the door. If anybody come to the door, step out and talk to them. You know what I'm saying? I had that authority anyway because... I was like next in line to be supervisor, you feel me? So, so I'm just standing here, like, I'm just standing there, I'm standing by the door, I'm watching him. He going through all they stuff, right? And then he pulls out a wooden chest. The wooden chest is like this big, right? Wooden chest, right? Right? He's shaking it like this. He like, like he been doing this shit, he like, you can hear something shuffling around in there. He like, this is it. This is the this is the bag right here, bro. This is it. He like, yo, close the door real quick. Matter of fact, lock that shit. I lock the door. We, we examining the case and all that. It got a lock on it. But, but it's one of those easy locks. Now, if you're familiar with a lot of my stories, I spoke about how me and my boys, we used to, um... Rob people at River Bank Pool. When everybody was in the pool, we grab our towels and then we would go pop people locks, take what's in there, and then dip before the swimming session was over. And how you would do that is you'll take like a rag like this, spin it like this, put this through the hoop, the hoop of the shit, and you yank it down and break it, right? So once I seen it was that type of lock, immediately in my head, I'm like, bro, I know how we could do this. Right? I always, 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 because it was summertime. I mean, not it wasn't summertime, but being that I sweat a lot, naturally anyway, whether it's hot or cold, I always have an extra like rag or something like that just laying around. They always around me. Like, for instance, I wasn't even thinking about the rag until I thought about the rag, and it was, one was already right next to me, you feel me? So I'm like, bro, we lit. Where in my back pocket? Pulled out the little rag handkerchief thing I had. Went like this. Put it in the lock. Boom! Broke that shit, right? Broke it. I wasn't even thinking. I'm like, how are we even going to get away with this? Like, the greed was really, like, like affecting us at this point. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we pop it open. Open up the chest. And it's just like when you watch the movies and shows. And, like, they open a briefcase. Or they open, like, a treasure chest. And then, like, like the light start emanating like from this shit, right? So, and like, and I had just like, oh, bands, bands, mad money. It was a stack of hundreds. It was like, it was a stack of hundreds. Um, a little thicker than that. It was a smaller stack of money, but then it was another stack. Um, mad neat singles. Mad neat fives, mad neat tens, mad neat twenties, mad neat fifties, and they all had like 
when you get a wad of money out the bank, like in cash, and they have like the the that paper around the middle to keep it together, right? This was like fresh, 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 brand new money, brand new money, you know what I'm saying? And what's crazy is the people had just left. So this is like five minutes into the situation, right? So we divvying up the money, we divvying up the money, we count it up, it's about 9,800, right? 9,800, so boom, we split it. He took like a couple extra because you know he found it. I'm like, all right, cut. you put the most work in, you did the most risk. Even though it was me who, you know what I'm saying, popped the lock open, right? Boom. So we split up the money, put the money in our pockets. Then we start thinking about the lock. We like, damn, what we gonna do about this lock? He like, I know exactly what we gonna do. Put the chest back real quick, bro. Unlock the door, I'm going to the store. I'll be right back. I don't know what the hell he doing, but he comes back. He comes back with a lock that looks exactly the same. Say, yo, I got this from the store. Put this new lock on that, right? So I put the lock on it, right? Threw the keys out the window. Boom, we put the chest back, and then we did our regular job, right? Did our regular job. We end up leaving, mind you. When we leave it, I want to I want to tell y'all how it was one, two, three, four, five, six. It was six to eight of us in this house, slaving. Bed bug proofing, they bed bug infested ass house. You know what I'm saying, right? Right? Risking it all. Y'all know that we we left, right? And they did not even give us a tip. They didn't even give us a tip. Not even a tip. Like barely said thank you. You know what I'm saying? Barely said thank you, right? So then while we leaving, we all getting on the company van going back. All, all our co-workers, they complaining about how the clients ain't giving them tips and they was slaving over a hot stove for them and all that and all that, right? And they saying, they saying stuff like, they lucky I don't steal. I seen the Xbox and the PlayStation and blah, 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 right? And me and my supervisor, we in the front, he driving. I'm in a passenger seat, right? So we talking, we talking and I'm be like, yeah, man, don't. Don't be stealing, but they lucky we didn't steal. Yeah, man, because I seen a couple things that I would have stole too. I seen this, I seen that, but I didn't take it, right? Mind you, we really came off with 10 bands, 10 bands. Went to work broke, left work with 10 bands, you feel me? Like, left with the money. Now, I'm going to say two three, two, three days later, they launch an investigation. Not a real, not a real investigation, investigation, but um they call the job, they make a complaint that I am about to call the cops, blah 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 blah. Um the two people that worked in our room stole stole our money, blah 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 blah, blah. and somebody stole something out of my son's room. Which we had nothing to do with. So one of them other people, they stole something out of that room. But like, yeah, we about to tell the cops. Da 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 da. And the boss, she texting all of us. She asking this question. She like, who was in the room? I'm like, yo, it was it was me and bro. They like, yo, the Jossy, this that and third, this that and third. We like, yeah, we seen that chest. Yeah, it was it was a big brown chest with a lock on it. They well, they trying to say that somehow, some way. Y'all popped the lock open and y'all took the money and then put a new lock on it. I'm like, that's preposterous. I have no idea who even does that. Like that's some that's some bum ass shit. Like he's that's some that's some broke nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, was broke. That's why we did it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> right, we got away with it because it wasn't enough evidence. And that's because they didn't really press that button and, 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 and I guess try to dust it for fingerprints or whatever. But then even if they would have did that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, we seen it. We was in there doing what y'all told us to do. Go in the closet, right? Fumigate, do what we supposed to do. Move stuff around and we got to move around. Check everything. We did our jobs. And then we left, you know what I'm saying? Um, and real talk, 
never got caught. Do I feel bad about it? No, because the clients were dingalings. They didn't even tip us. Fuck them. Peace.